another little topic here to discuss. I, and I know I've talked about this in the past in different conversations, probably in Chatterbox and whatnot. <clears throat> that aside, I'm just going to take this by itself, just me and, and the subject. So they, they, there was a post on uh, the IPMS uh, Facebook group about um, shouldn't somebody who takes an old dog of a kit, whatever that is, and, and brings it up to modern standards, however they may do that, and however you define that, um, get extra credit. Now, it wasn't mentioned that this was a contest-type situation. Um, but that's how a lot of the answers came and whatnot. And, and I'm going to just address it in general and, and I'll, we'll talk about the contest, but in general, let me say this, um, you know, for going the contest part of it, my cushion is bugging me. Um, so let's take, pick a subject I love, P47s, right? Okay. That, that's a Tamiya. Get on the go up there. Um, so you have in 48 scale P47s, there's a bunch of stuff, but really the two big dogs I would say are the old monogram kit and the Tamiya kit. Um, and or kits, I should say kits, because they both have multiple versions. Uh, you could throw Academy in there, but. Um, I really dislike the Academy Academy P47s. There's Hasegawa kits too. But we're going to stick with the monogram and the Tamiya just to have both ends of the spectrum. So, what's more impressive? And I'm going to talk about me and what, what is more impressive to me. Now, first thing I want to say, I like models. I like all models. However you decide you build your model, I like it. Okay? And that's not lip service. I, I've been doing this forever and ever and ever, and and I haven't seen them. Don't remember ever seeing a model I didn't like. How's that? Um. But I'll say this: if you're going to bring to the table, um, and not necessarily contest sale. I'm just saying, bring to me, you know, and say, hey, what do you think of these? And you have a, a Tamiya P47 um, that's well done. And you have a monogram P47 that's been updated and is well done. You don't need to update the Tamiya kit. The Tamiya P47 kit is, is pretty much perfect the way it is, even though there's no such thing. But those of you that have built it, um know what i mean that, that kit doesn't need anything maybe a set of wheels but not even really that um well the kit decals but we're not talking about those um but if you take a, the, the monogram p47 kit and um you know work on the cockpit and maybe do some work in the wheel wells and put some resin wheels on it um it it's it's pretty nice i mean it's 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 a very nice um kit even if it is you know what 50 50 years old now something like that anyway um do i like the the, the tamiya kit obviously i have like double digits of them um I also like the monogram kit. And if I had to give a nod to one over the other, um, yeah, I shouldn't say give a nod. We'll talk about that when we talk about that. But you know, the, the, the Tamiya kit's impressive, okay? To a point, but you take something that somebody's put a whole lot of their own blood, sweat, and tears into, um, it's different and it's 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 definitely impressive um 
I can talk about the car show circuit. I'll talk about the car show circuit for a second. You know, there I, I my dad diddled around in a car show circuit, and um, and I went with him quite a bit. And you had the guys that built their cars, and you had the guys that paid somebody else to build their car, right? Well, which one's more impressive to you as a car guy? Um, you know, when you're sitting there and you're talking to the owner and and the guy is telling you, well, you know, I had this shop in Long Beach do it or whatever. And, you know, they did great work and they only charge like 125 an hour and, and, and blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's great. So you got a deep wallet. Okay. Um, and then you go talk to another guy who's got a pretty much identical car and he's like, oh yeah, you know, when I did this, I didn't have, you know, I didn't have the resources to do it really the way I wanted to. So I kind of redesigned this and, you know, those are the people that are interesting to talk to. And those are the, the cars that are interesting to look at. Um, and it's the same thing with models. It really is. Um, they're the thing with a... hand detailed model or I don't know what I'm trying to say but something with some scratch building and whatnot involved in it is it's going to be a little bit different than the next guys it's got that own little personal touch to it um, and that's a good thing you know that's a good thing um, so and, and like I said that's not um, you know a jab at 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 uh, um, the new wonder kits and stuff, it, it's not at all. I love them. I like I like them all. You know, there there's there's um, things I like about my old nostalgia bills, and there's things that I like about um, you know the the Tamiya P thirty eight um, and things like that. So. Um, I like them all. I'm all over the and I build them all. Bandai, Tamiya, Monogram, Revell, um, not Star Picks. Got to draw the line somewhere, <laughs> right? So anyway, that said, let's talk about contests for a little bit. So here's the thing with a contest: IPMS rules contests. Let me be clear. <coughs> IPMS judging criteria is on build quality, okay? Build quality is the first thing judged. Um, I've never seen a tie. Um, there's always one that's built a little bit better than the other. There's, there's always something in the construction where you can that makes your decisions for you. So what that means is, you know, if when, when I'm talking about construction, just to go over it real quick, for those of you that don't know, you're talking about alignment. You're talking about making sure everything's straight. Everything is equal left to right. Wheels are straight. Struts are the right, correct position. Everything is, is, is where it's supposed to be and pointing the direction it's supposed to point. Okay, um, you know that the 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 thrust, the plane of thrust compared to the uh, center line of the aircraft is 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 correct. You know the propeller is not drooping down and and whatnot. Um, those are the things that matter. In that, when you're talking about that, is it possible for a monogram P forty seven? To beat out a Tamiya P forty seven in an IPMS contest in a contest that uses the IPMS rule set, yes, absolutely, absolutely, because the amount of detail is is irrelevant. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, that's the first thing you. That's really what you need to understand if you're talking about contests is. The rest of that stuff had, it doesn't have anything to do with it. It could come into play 
Um, I don't know that I've ever seen an instance where it does. Um, there are those that think it should. Um, and I don't know. I don't know how you would do that. Um, I, I really don't. I don't know how you would do that because you don't know how when you when you're looking at stuff like if you're trying to judge by that you know what you're really trying to look at is well well how hard was this to do how much how much pain and toil did somebody put into this well there's no way to know because what's easy for me may not be so easy for you and vice versa you know I, you could you you know I, I i can build something out of scrap plastic fairly easily and whatnot but you know, me trudging through a CAD program to 3D print something is is going to take forever, and the and the the reverse reverse is probably true for a lot of of other modelers. I mean, 3D printing is is pretty prevalent now. Um. So, you know, is does that does any of that matter? Um. I mean, how do you how do you so how do you judge you know the amount of toil somebody put into something there's there's no way to know there's no way to know so that's why it's done the way it's done and um you'll find if you actually judge that doing those things that sound so simple is apparently not because almost nobody ever gets it um 90 percent right let alone 100 <clears> percent <throat> now if you ended up in a situation just say hypothetically you ended up in a situation where the quality of both builds were 100 percent. they were both spot on identical quality of build identical quality of finish um, then you move into the realm of um, scope of effort now and in that case yeah i mean you, you, who you know it's it's still kind of subjective but I mean, in that case, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna give the nod to the person that did the most work, that, that made the most modifications and and made them obviously successfully because we're even at that point. But but the point being that that's not gonna happen. You're never gonna get there <laughs> because nobody builds perfect models. Um, so the whole discussion is moot. There's no there's no point in even having this discussion when it relates to contests okay but going back to what i said at the beginning you know if you walk in and you throw down the brand new icm b26 on the table they're like wow that's pretty cool looks nice and look at it you know and the details good on it and whatnot but then the next guy walks in and throws down a monogram b26 that's that's just as clean it's it's wow for for people that have built that old monogram kit and know um, the horrors that it can be, you know, and you, it's impressive when it's done right. So, um, but that doesn't have any pl any place on the contest table. You know, something that just occurred to me is um, this is. You know, I'm 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 getting ready to turn 57 here, so I, I'm I'm literally been building models for 50 years, and um, I'm still a hat, and and it's not that I don't have the capabilities to do it. right or 100% right or, or whatever however you want to word it 
I just don't care that much. I'm 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 just more interested in building and having a good time and and enjoying the build. It's like this what I'm working on right now is this Ravel B17F and um this this kit is it's not horrible, but it would probably make a lot of people cry. No. <laughs> it's pretty basic. Um, there's there's no interior in it. That's fine with me. I don't care. You know things like that. Um, but um, but it's what I had, and I wanted to build something specific. So there so there it is. <clears throat> and it, it's gonna be. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Is it gonna be a contest winner? Probably not. And, and that's fine. I don't care. Is is it? Whoop. I don't know what that was, but off it went. Is it going? Is is all the is everything going to be aligned and stuff on it? I can tell you right now the um, starboard stabilizer is a little high at the tip. Oh well, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, what was that? It was a motor. It was an engine that went thinking across the floor. So there we are. Um, so yeah, bottom line, that kind of thing doesn't have any um, bearing on a contest table, um, but just in general observations or at a show or something like that, I think you know anybody that's being honest with you would would tell you that something that's got a whole lot of uh, handmade stuff in it or scratch stuff or whatnot, you know, that's somebody to put a bunch of hours into is is always impressive always impressive um, but that doesn't mean it's going to get a ribbon it's probably not to be honest which is which is what's always amazing you know when you get something that's it's you know basically a scratch build or whatever and it, and it does very well at, at, at the nats <laughs> at the ipms nats and it's like wow that's that's saying something when you can start with nothing and build something from scratch to the quality, the construction quality to place in that group, that's, that's, that's an accomplishment. That's an accomplishment. Anyway, enough for me. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you think I'm an idiot or whatever, that's fine. You wouldn't be the first. Um, but yeah, interested in what what everybody has to say. You know, um, like I said, it's it's I I you know, for me personally, yeah, I think st stuff like that is impressive. But if you're talking on the contest table, no, there's no place for that there, unless the builds are perfect and the finishes are perfect, and then you have to start talking about that stuff, which is never gonna happen. All right, as usual, take care of the people you love. We'll see you next time. Bye.